Hey, it's Spence from LaunchLows.com. In this first video of five, I'm going to show you in a couple minutes or less how to do the instant registration feature of LaunchLows. We built this so that you don't have to use additional plugins in order to achieve the registration and logging in of a new person so that they're in your sales funnel. And by making use of WooCommerce, we also give you the capability as the owner of the site to see who used the process, but you also hide from the buyer a free order. So it's really a simple way to do things, and it works with your favorite page builder or natively with the Classic or Gutenberg. So this is the feature, instant registration. Let's get started. I'm using the free demo capability here, so you're welcome to use it as well. Click on try it free, and I've set up a demo site. First thing we need is a free product. So I go to the dashboard, and with WooCommerce, I simply make a free product. Add new. And we're going to call this whatever you want. Let's call it free registration. Now, the product has got to be a zero cost. So virtual, simple product for zero of whatever your currency is. Next, we're going to use launch flows to go ahead and set up a couple parameters. Right now, we want to use the instant registration checkbox. And we want to use the solo checkout. That means that in case somebody already was using WooCommerce on your site and had something in the cart, we want to kick it out. For now, we're also going to change the setup based upon the custom checkout page we use. But I want to pause and make the checkout page. So I just update it. Let's leave this here and step two, add a new page. Now you can use one checkout page for everything, but in this case, I just like to make a kind of for this purpose checkout page because that way I can make the button say what I want even if I don't use any of the custom page builder components. So let's call this free registration page. You can call it what you want and you can do this on a post, a page, or even lessons. Now I'm going to use the free capability of launch flows to change the checkout button. So instead of saying place order, it says what I want like register now. Reg register now. It's free. I'm going to click publish. I also want to make sure that this page knows it's a launch flows page. So I'm going to scroll down and in the actual page attributes, instead of the default template, I'll either choose launch flows canvas if I don't want a header and footer or launch flows full width if I want it to have the default header and footer. I'm going to go with the default header and footer here. Click update. Now here's the fun part. Because I've created this page, I can go back to my registration product, refresh the page, and tell it to match itself to that particular page. So it will only go there. That means you can dedicate a specific page for various types of checkouts. You can even have the product already be there ready to go. So in launch flows, when I go back, I can use this option. Choose which checkout page this should go to. And I'm going to type in instant registration. Right, let's type registration. And it's free registration page. So the page here. I'm going to click update and we're ready to test it out. Now LaunchFlows has a built-in capability with any product to send it across the internet. So you can use it on your website in a button, you can use it in Facebook ads, you can use it in LinkedIn or any other kind of social advertising. That's the direct checkout link. When I take this link and then I go to an incognito window, we'll see that this provides a way for somebody to go from clicking a link to the instant registration. And here we are. I'll move myself out of the way. Now, even though this has not been customized in any way, you can see that all the essentials are here. First name, test, and user, and test user at blank.com. When they register now, they'll be added to the site and they'll become a regular user. However, the neat thing is they won't necessarily have to get the emails and you as the admin won't have to see that. Let me show you what that looks like. When we go back to the setup of this site, we can go into launch flows and there's an option here. Hide all free orders from the admin and the buyers. I would check that box. Disable free order emails. I would check that box. These two boxes mean that nobody will get an email that explains they just did a free order registration. And at the same time, you as the administrator could go to WooCommerce orders 
and you'll see that you can filter the free orders or hide the free orders. And that's all there is to it. Now, the last thing you can do if you want is you could go to the actual free product and you can tell it where it should go after the person's registered. And that's quite powerful too. So what I would do is send them, let's say, to their My Account area. You simply go into Launch Flows and choose the Thank You page. That's where they would go next. So if you want to make a Thank You page, do it. Otherwise, you could just choose My Account and they'll be taken there. It's that simple.